Hey, Jim, thank you. 503 and an emotional protest taking place today in the district. Now, hard to believe it. It's been nearly 100 days since Relisha Rudd's family last saw their eight year old. Jeanette Reyes is live in Southeast with the change that people are pushing for today. Good morning, Jeanette. Good morning to you. They're demanding big change today. It has been just over three months since the eight year old went missing from this DC uh, shelter and now fed up residents and community members are demanding change so that this tragedy doesn't happen again. Residents say this is just the tip of the iceberg. Rudd's disappearance is the most severe consequence of the neglect they've been experiencing here for quite some time. But with today's rally, they're not only going to bring attention to that, they're bringing with them a pretty lengthy list of demands for the shelter among them. They're asking for an upgrade to security measures, living conditions, and the food, which they say makes the residents sick. All of these things they say they've been demanding since before Rudd went missing. Now, there isn't uh, a known timeline uh, on which they're expecting the, the, the shelter to meet these, these requests, but this rally is set for 7 o'clock this evening, and a lot of people are expected to show up, as you mentioned, very emotional. Again, 7 o'clock this evening at this D.C. shelter, and they will be unveiling their full length of requests for the shelter. Reporting live in D.C., Jeanette Reyes, ABC 7 News.